Hi guys, my name is Timitokwe Babawaye, but everybody calls me T-Babsy or Babsy for short. I am a digital marketer, I am a food and travel and lifestyle blogger as well. Today I am going to be talking about finding and pursuing your passion as a youth and I have divided it into five major subtopics. The first one would be identifying your hobbies, your skills or your talents. That would be basically what comes naturally to you, what can you do without like it's not stress to you. When it makes you happy, you just go for it. When you think about it, you're really good at it. For me, I um, I thought I was going to read lore, but sometime in 300 level, I fell in love with digital marketing and I wasn't really sure if it was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I didn't want to be found having a midlife crisis and then having to start all over again. The second thing would be researching and refining those skills. So you can't just say, oh, I'm good at this and then you don't look for how to be better at what you do. So I began following a lot of pages, ad pages, a lot of um, digital marketing companies, a lot of um, blogs, a lot of um, companies that did monthly newsletters. I also started researching, I started reading up on the best platforms to do certain things just so that I could have an understanding of what worked in the industry I wanted to get into. The third point, which was probably the hardest for me, was finding a mentor. Because, <laughs> so after, um, after uni and law school, I thought I was going to go back to Lagos, but service happened and then I found myself in Cross River. And I was in Cross River, I didn't know anybody, I didn't know how I was going to survive, and I was just like, I know I can't stay here. So I did my orientation, and then I got my redeployment to Abuja. And until a friend of mine then introduced me to my current boss. So I started and he finally became my mentor because he had like a whole lot of experience from Lagos. All the major companies I wanted to work with in Lagos, he had passed through all those industries, all those companies. And then he decided to come and set up in Abuja. And I was the any work girl because I just wanted to learn, I just wanted to sort of just know everything, a little bit about everything because I wanted to be taken seriously for this craft because it's not very easy explaining to your parents that you want to leave law for Instagram. That's, that's how they equate it, it's not like it's a business or something, it's law for Instagram. Uh, so after I found my mentor, the fourth thing was networking and selling my market. For networking, I found it sort of a bit difficult because I mean, I was in a new terrain. I didn't have that many friends, but from one event to two events, I started meeting people, meeting people in my field. I started making actual friendships off social media. Some of them, we have partnered together on certain things in the city. If you don't tell people about what you do, if people don't know what you do, like nobody's going to be there to help you. And I can't confuse my angel of blessings. So I have to sell my market. I also personally believe that whatever it is that you do should be reflected within the first nine posts on your social media page. That way people actually know what you're about. Like nobody wants to go through the stress of strolling through your page before they have an idea of your personality. Like let it just be there in their faces so they already know that oh this is what you're good at this is that and i mean you never know where a referral might come from if i had to do it all over again because i've had people ask me that i mean because it wasn't an easy road getting here actually because it took a while for my family to actually take me seriously that this is what i wanted to do they just felt it was me just being me anyways <laughs> So um, it was basically just me believing in myself, me knowing that this is what I want to do, this is what I was called to do, and just putting everything in it without um, any doubts, any fears, just going for it, 
not minding if I got any support from family or not, but as long as I was certain in my goals and in my dreams. So that's just what I'll say. Just keep doing you, just keep putting in all the work and I know that someday it's going to pay off very soon.